Good day, this is Mr. Kays, and we're talking about the beginning of human life in the world. And your textbook, as you read uh, chapter 1.1, seems to believe the idea that man originated in Africa. Now, why is this? Well, because they found the oldest remains there. Does it mean that that is the place? Well, no. Maybe next week we'll find some other older bones. But um, your book talks about the idea of um, humans originating in Africa. And scientists are going to have a part in that. What they're looking for is artifacts. Artifacts is physical remains. And as you see, it could include tools, jewelry, any man-made objects, baskets, um, pots, um, drinking cups, whatever they can come across. Those are artifacts. Those are human-made uh, objects. There are scientists that study a people's way of life. That's culture. It could be their language. It could be their dress. It could be their food that they eat, etc., etc. We've got a group of scientists called paleontologists, and they are ones that study fossil remains. Uh, it's important for them to put together bones and um, what they find in the, the clay that is hardened, um, whether it's shells or bits of bone, they're called paleontologists. Okay, some important folks um, in the field of finding human remains. Mary and Louis Leakey, they were a husband and wife team from England who did some work, extensive work in Tanzania, East Africa, and they found the oldest human footprints. They considered them hominids. Hominids are ancestors of humans. Now, again, this is the theory of evolution. If you believe in the theory of evolution, man evolved from simpler creatures. And they walked upright. How do they know? Because the a footprint made a greater imprint in the toe area than the heel. Another important person is Donald Johansson. Now, he finds the oldest discovered fossil remains um, in the world, and they dated him back three and a half million years. Again, theory of evolution, if you believe that, then man is actually older um, um, than um, the theory of creation, which dates back probably the most to 10,000 years. Johansson finds uh, skeletal remains of a woman. Didn't find her skull, but found uh, chest cavity, pelvic bones, uh, leg bones, and he puts them together, and they are considered the oldest living um, fossils. So he nicknames them Lucy. Why? Because the Beatles in 1973 put out a, a song called Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, so he nicknamed her Lucy. All right, progress during the Old Stone Age. The Paleolithic Age is called the, uh, the Old Stone Age. And in between the Old Stone Age and the New Stone Age is the Ice Age. Notice here, again, scientists are calculating about 2.5 million years ago to 800,000 BC or before the Common Era. Um, and then you have the Neolithic Age. Neo is new. Think about neo-Nazis. Think about neonatal, which has to do with um, uh, infants that are born too soon, neonatal care. Um, neosporin, which is a um, cream that makes new skin. Neolithic age is from 8,000 to 3,000 BC, and man is going to now start to acquire uh, knowledge on how to make tools and grow crops. So that's the new Stone Age. Again, theory of evolution. As man evolves, the homo, uh, homo habilis is uh, Latin for a man of skill, where he starts to use uh, simple um, rocks to make tools and sharpen blades. Homo erectus, upright man. To, to walk erect means upright. Supposedly, they're more intelligent and adaptable. They're the first to migrate or move. They used language, or they acquired language. Again, theory of evolution. And then they use teamwork to survive. Word here you've heard a lot. Technology is nothing more than taking those tools and knowledge and inventions to meet the needs that they have. Okay, we're in the home stretch here. 
the dawn of modern humans in this theory of evolution. Man refines, is refined, and Homo sapiens is wise man. The word sapient means wisdom, and it included Cro-Magnons. <clears throat> Now, these folks were more adaptable than the Neanderthals. Neanderthals, their DNA shows that they are ancestors of modern humans. Well, if you believe in the theory of evolution, okay. Um, if you don't, then this is just theory. You can't prove it, can't disprove it. Um, they talk about, your book talks about um, the Neanderthals being your comic book cave, caveman. They have um, a more pronounced forehead ridge. Um, they did live in caves. Uh, they tried to control or explain their world. They believed that there was such a thing as a higher uh, order, uh, a spirit world. So they developed religion, and we don't know how they disappeared. The cro and the Neanderthals did live or coexist in the same time, but the Neanderthals are going to die out. You'll see Neanderthals around, supposedly around Europe. Cro-Magnons, they're more identical to the modern humans in evolution, and they planned their projects more. And as far as opposable thumb, if you believe in evolution, man did not have a, an opposable thumb, but developed that, and that made life so much better for them. Well, this is the Shakedown Cruise. 1.1 is in the books, and hopefully your notes are taken well. If not, Feel free to just go over and listen to my lecture over and over and over and over and over again. Bye.